Hi, we are from at home tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to find the increase in or decrease in percent of the given number. A first example is find the new price. So it's given original price, increase or decrease in percentage. We want to do the calculation and we want to find the new price. So first it's given original price is rupees hundred and the percent given is fifty percent increase. So 100 is original price and it's increased by 50%. So now we'll do it. So, so how to find the new price? New price is the original price plus because it is increased. So you're going to do addition. So it is plus. So what is the increase in percentage? 50 percentage. So it is 50 percentage of 100. Okay, so 50 percentage of 100 is 50. So 100 plus 50, that's nothing but 150. Okay, next question is rupees 100 is the original price and the percent is 25% decrease. So, decrease means we want to subtract from the original price. To find the new price, we want to subtract the original price minus the decrease in percent. So, 100 is the original price minus decrease in percentage 25%. So, 25% of this original price, that is 25% of 100. So, 25% of 100 is 25. So, 100 minus 25, that's nothing but 75. So, the new price is 75. The next given original price is 100 and the increase or decrease in percent is 75 percent increase so here it is increase so to find the new price you want to add the increase in percent to the original price so the original price is 100 plus so increase in percent it's 75 percent of 100 so 75 percent of 100 is 75 so 100 plus 75 is 175 so the new price is rupees 175 and the next number given is the original price is 100 and it is 50 percent decrease 50 percent decrease so decrease so it's minus so you have to subtract 50 percent decrease from the original price so original price is 100 minus 50 percent of 100 so 50 percentage of 100 is 50 so 100 minus 50 is rupees 50 so the new price is rupees 50 and the next one is original price is 100 and it's given 30 percent increase so you want to add s yes, if it is increase you want to add to the original price so 100 plus 30 percent of 100 so 30 percent of 100 is 30 so 100 plus 30 is 130 so the new price is rupees 130 now let's see the next example the price of a scooter was rupees 34,000 last year it has increased by 20 percent this year what is the price now so solution so first what we want to do we want to find the increase in price so that is what is 20 percentage of rupees 34,000 and then you want to find the new price okay so now first let's find the 20 percent of 34,000 so 20 percent is 1 divided by 100 of means multiplication 34,000 so now if you simplify that you will get rupees 6,800 so now how will you find the new price since it is increase in percent you want to add increase in percentage to the old price okay so old price plus increase in price old price is 34,000 plus increase in price is 6,800 so if you add this you will get 40,800 rupees now the same thing you can done do using unitary method so unitary method we will see how to do this 20 percent increase means rupees 100 is increased to rupees 120 that is 20 percent increase so now 34,000 will increase to how much so the increased price is equal to 120 rupees into 34,000 divided by 100 so if you simplify you will get rupees 40,800 so the answer in both the cases will be same so thus the price of a scooter now is rupees 40,800 
The next example is the price of a scooter was rupees thirty four thousand last year. The price of a scooter was decreased by five percent this year. So what is the price now? So what is given? Price of a scooter last year is given. So this is the original price that is thirty four thousand, and it's given. It is decreased by five percent this year. So decreased means you want to sub. Subtract to find the new price. That is the price now. So first we'll do how to find the decrease in price. Then we'll do the subtraction of that decrease in price from the original price. So now we'll find the decrease in percent. So that is five percent of thirty-four thousand. So five percent of thirty-four thousand can be written as five percent is five into one by hundred of is into that is multiplication thirty-four thousand. So, if you simplify that, you will get rupees one thousand seven hundred. So, this is the decrease in price. So, now how will you find new price? New price is equal to old price minus decrease in price. So, the old price is rupees thirty four thousand minus the decrease in price is rupees one thousand seven hundred. So, if you subtract, your answer will be rupees thirty two thousand three hundred. The same question. We can do using unitary method also. So now, in unitary method, five percent decrease means we can write rupees hundred is decreased to rupees ninety five. So if rupees hundred is decreased to rupees ninety five, then rupees thirty four thousand will decrease to how much? So that decrease in price is equal to rupees ninety five into thirty four thousand rupees divided by Hundred. So, if you simplify this, you will get the answer as rupees thirty-two thousand three hundred. Answer in both the cases are same, thirty-two thousand three hundred. So, we can say thus the price of scooter now is rupees thirty-two thousand three hundred. The next example is a man got a ten percent increase in his salary. If his new salary is rupees one lakh fifty four thousand, find his original salary. So, here it is a reverse case. Okay, so you have To find the original salary, and they have given the new salary and the increase in percentage. Now let's see how to do this. So let us consider the original salary be rupees hundred because it's given in percentage. We can take it as rupees hundred for our easy solving of the questions. So therefore, the new salary is ten percent increase. So ten percent increase means hundred plus ten. So that is rupees one hundred and ten. So the new salary is rupees one hundred and ten. When the original salary is rupees hundred, so therefore the new salary will be one. When the original salary will be hundred into one divided by one hundred and ten, right? So in the same way, we can find the new salary if the new salary is rupees one lakh fifty four thousand. When the original salary is rupees hundred into rupees one lakh fifty four thousand divided by rupees one hundred and ten. So if you simplify this, you will get the answer as rupees one lakh forty thousand. So the original salary is rupees one lakh forty thousand. Hope you have understood how to find the increase or decrease in percent for the new value from the given or original value. Thank you for the watching video.